In today's increasingly complex world, we're faced with unprecedented challenges. Here at Solve, an initiative of MIT, we know that if we're going to solve the challenges of tomorrow, we need to build solutions today. That's why we're inviting you to submit your innovative solutions to one of our 2017 Solve Global Challenges. Over half the world's population now lives in cities. Cities that account for 70% of greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. These city dwellers need access to high quality food and water, whether in Flint, Michigan, or the favelas of Rio de Janeiro. We are seeking solutions that help urban communities across the globe gain long-term access to sustainable food and water sources. As the population increases, technological changes are significantly redefining the job landscape. In fact, nearly half of today's jobs are at risk of becoming obsolete due to automation and other technological advancements. The ability to adapt and learn new skills will be of primary importance. We are seeking solutions that help youth acquire the skills they need for the workforce of the future and to thrive in the 21st century. But when this workforce marginalizes and excludes women, the economic success of entire communities is diminished. Women only make up 12% of engineering students worldwide, and their startups receive only 10% of investors' money. How can women and girls of all backgrounds use technology to prosper in today's economy? That's what we're looking to you for, for solutions that connect women to technology in underserved areas, that increase women's financial inclusion, and that help eliminate industry bias that disadvantages women in the workplace. While technology has driven significant healthcare advances, 10% of the world's population is affected by a brain disorder. Prevention, early diagnosis, and affordable access to treatment are still inadequate for the majority. Solve is seeking technology-powered solutions to enhance brain health and mental resilience, enable better diagnosis, increase access to treatment, and build a stigma-free culture around brain health. How do we solve for these challenges? Do you have a solution that could help address these in your community? Solve is calling on you to submit your solutions. Our open innovation platform will give you the opportunity to form teams and receive feedback. If you're selected by our judges as one of our solvers, you will receive personalized support and introductions to our Solve community members who have financial and non-financial resources to support developing and scaling your idea. Join the movement by submitting your solution today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Health Community Director Solve Pooja Wa and Director MIT McGovern Institute Robert D. Simone. Good morning. I'm Pooja Wa, Director of the Health Community here at Solve. And I'm delighted today to be able to introduce Dr. Robert Desimone, director of the MIT McGovern Institute for Brain Research and a professor in the Brain and Cognitive Sciences Department. Dr. Desimone has been director at McGovern since 2004, and prior to that was at the National Institutes for Mental Health. So with his decades of experience working on the brain, we're so excited that he's working closely with us to launch our next challenge in health, brain health. Thank you, Pooja. Hi, I'm, I'm, as you said, I'm Bob Desmond. I'm director of the McGovern Institute for Brain Research at MIT. The way we think, the way we feel, the way we interact with, with each other obviously depends on a healthy brain. Uh, but unfortunately, many people around the world suffer from brain disorders of some sort. It's estimated that over 10% of the world's population suffer from some sort of brain disorder, and many of them do not receive proper care, either because they don't have access to care, in some cases because of the stigma associated with mental disorders, and they are embarrassed to seek out care. And the impact of these brain disorders is vast. It's, it's, the impact is on the person themselves, their family members, their friends, and then there's the economic impact, the, the impact of caring for all these people with disorders, and then the, 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 the impact of all the lost productivity from people suffering from disorders. So clearly, we need more effective ways to prevent, 
diagnose, and treat brain disorders. Now, my colleagues and I at the McGovern Institute are working on a better understanding at a biological level of brain disorders, and we're working on better treatments for disorders, but clearly there is a great need for better applications of existing treatments, existing technologies to help people in more human-centered ways and in a way that can scale up to deal with the widespread uh, nature of disorders around the world. And that's why I am happy to announce the official launch of Solve's newest challenge in health, how can every person improve their brain health and mental resilience? Through Solve, innovators anywhere in the world will be able to propose non-invasive, non-pharmacological, scalable technology and solutions that empower people to improve their brain health and mental resilience, enable earlier, more accurate diagnoses, increase access to and efficiency of treatments, and help build a stigma-free culture around brain disorders. I am personally excited about the possibilities for innovation in the brain health challenge, and I look forward to witnessing this global movement. Thank you. Thank you.